you can create a lithographic image on limestone or on an aluminum plate. And it basically relies on the fact that grease and water don't mix. So uh, the image was created with a greasy material like a crayon, a really big crayon, or a touche. And once you apply this greasy material, the fatty acids from the grease start to release into the stone. And then you do what's called etching, really processing the stone with uh, nitric acid and gum arabic. And, and there's a lot of kind of confusion when we say etch. So there, nothing is actually etched. Uh, when we say etched in relationship to a metal plate, the layer of metal is actually removed. In this particular case, nothing is actually removed. It is uh, creation of areas in a stone that is sensitized differently. Mm -hmm. uh, you have hydrophilic areas and hydrophobic areas. So areas that are hydrophobic, meaning that they uh, repel water, those are the areas that attract the drawn material mm -hmm. and in turn attract ink. So uh, mm -hmm. as the stone is processed or etched, uh, it is a substitution of drawn material for printing ink. So when we create these areas in the stone, we will then remove, right? Mm -hmm. We will remove the drawing material from the stone using strong solvents such as lithotine or mineral spirits. And you do that through the layer of gum. Then you take asphaltum and rub a thin layer into the stone and it sticks to the drawn areas. And then you take water and a sponge and you remove the gum arabic. And that's really kind of a scariest moment in lithography, especially for students, because you ultimately erase the image. When the stone is kept wet, uh, only the areas that are open will take water. The other ones will repel water, which will allow us to roll a uh, really thin layer of ink using these handmade leather rollers traditionally on over the top of the wet stone uh, and we do it several times building up the layer of ink at which point the stone is placed on a lithographic press and the piece of paper is applied to the top of the stone. The stone is run through the press under a considerable pressure. With uh, a scraper bar as opposed to right. a roller of an intaglio press. Yes, yeah, so they are different in a way that they apply actually a lot less pressure, but in a more direct way. So there is no roller that goes over the top of the stone. It's an actual static bar that pushes down and is kind of squeegeed. Uh, because everything's on the same level, right. so with intaglio, where the blankets have to force with a lot of pressure the paper down below the surface, mm -hmm. that doesn't have to happen with lithography. Right, right. So that kind of allows for uh, a much faster printing. So to pull an edition of intaglios would be, uh, you know, an affair that would take a day, two, three, depending on the size of edition. But you know, in lithography, because of how the uh, ink is applied, and because there is no wiping, you just roll it on. Uh, you can do your whole edition of a hundred prints in a day. So you normally have an assistant who is keeping the stone wet and you're rolling the ink on. Uh, and so that allows for really fast turnaround. Mm -hmm. So which is why sort of it is, uh, you know, lithography is ultimately born out of commercial necessity. 